grab a cigarette. Every time I come here, I had two podcasts before this. First one, I was like, uh, like not that great. Then I had a fucking... We had a lot of technical issues. We had a lot of technical issues. <laughs> yeah. And then he had COVID, like, last yeah, week. Yeah, for mad long. It was fucking nothing, but I kept testing myself every morning, and it took fucking a week and a half. I got it Wednesday when I was hungover. And I didn't know if I was just hungover. Because it's like, I had a... If I look too far to the side, my eyes hurt. Yeah. And I had chills for three nights in a row. But, like, not even that bad. I would just wake up wet. And then I didn't even feel sick, really. But I kept testing positive until today. Yeah, I think I had it once, and that was, like, when it began. I, I think went... I did, too. I was sick for, like, a day when I first saw it twice. Yeah. I was in a store, and I was, like, mad people there. And it was this one guy that walked by, and, I'm like, I just, like... Yeah, taste... there was a guy at Walmart I think I got it from. Yeah. He just fucking happened to sneeze when I'm walking up the aisle. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this guy. You could taste... Can you taste the sickness? Like, I had, like, the weird taste in After my, like... I had it for a couple days, I yeah. got it. Well, yeah. like, as soon as somebody, like, is germing enough, I'm like... Yo, I got. I might be I'm gonna be. Somatic. I'm gonna be sick, dude. I'm gonna be sick. I and I, I, I know. Like, I know. I know. You, 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 the instant you catch it, like I, I just, I just fucking know. Like fuck, dude. I'm usually good, dude. Hey, it took me. How long has it been? Two and a half years. Yeah. You got it. I'm never sick. I, I think I got I, Omicron. It was nothing. Uh, all, allergies are my downfall. That's about it. Have, really? Did you always have allergies? Yeah, I know you had allergies. Yeah. Always. Oh uh, yeah, I was uh, cats. I couldn't do a cats. And I had, oh, like, certain things. Dude, I, when I was a kid, I had I everything. Like pollen. No, no, yeah, now it's pollen. Just like yeah, a it wasn't bit. before though. Yeah. I, it, you know what you should try? Try taking some pine pollen extract. Pine pollen, pine, pine Dude, it's pollen. the only food source of testosterone, or it's a very similar chemical to testosterone. No. Yeah. Just drink the tea. Pine pollen. Yeah. Well, you know, just pine. When, pine needles. In the spring. When we were about to open up the cabins for the year, the fucking floors are literally, we swept up every day. It would be like big piles of hash on the floor. Yeah. It was all pollen. I thought about putting a fucking cookie sheet out. Yeah. And collecting it and eating it. Why couldn't you do that? It's always like, you're always nervous the first time, just like grabbing something through the woods. I don't know, like, I remember when well, I was. Speaking like, of. Yeah. Was, I, I, I just, I tried to bite. I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I just well, needed to taste it. You're never supposed to eat a wild mushroom raw. Yeah, fucking dude. I mean, dude, it has. It has it's not that some of them you can't. It has the pores, it has everything. Like, and like, yeah. you know. Well, for people that don't know, if you don't know what a mushroom is, don't eat it, first of all. But if you look at the bottom of this, it doesn't have gill plates. Yeah, sure Most sure. edible mushrooms don't have gill plates. It's a good little tip. That's chicken of the woods, I believe. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm no mycologist. We got pores. There you go. Kind of looks like a coral. If uh, somebody's picking mushrooms to identify, one of the things you do is you take a spore print, but you always want to make sure you cut it off at the base of the root. Because sometimes you need that to identify what mushroom it is. And then take a spore print, you just. Not all of them drop spores, I don't believe. Uh, like, I don't think this does, because it's got pores. Yeah. It won't leave, like, a print. Got a moss going Actually, on Actually, maybe it would. I don't know. It definitely it, tastes like I guess like I'm not fucking my college. Yeah. I know some of that. I, I mushrooms think. are cool, though. Yeah. I wish I had the balls to try more wild ones. But chicken in the woods. Fuck yeah. I'm sure we did when we were kids, man. I, I'm pretty sure I remember frog you we just picking on... when we were camping? A frog? Then we had the balls to do Oh, dog. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was like a toad or something. I remember <laughs> last year, I think it was, or it was the year before, the woodchuck was coming in and eating my fucking plants. So I shot him, and I ate him. Yeah. And my girlfriend had some. She was like, oh, it's good. And most people don't eat woodchuck, but it's fucking, it's like a beaver. It's meat. You know what I mean? Okay. Some things, I've been watching Pardon My Plate on a Meat Eaters podcast channel. And uh, they ate crow, they ate bobcat. They, they say crow, crow tastes like venison. Yeah. I, I, I almost want to try one now. Too. I, I want to try it. Weird. You think they would have a, I want to try mountain lion, dude. Game I heard it's like, like, like the best one. Oh, yeah. Mountain no, I heard lion. that's fucking awesome. And I, I want to try black bear, too. Good luck fucking hunting one. You need yeah. dogs. 
Yeah. And they're trying to ban it in a lot of states. Yeah. Which, for people that want to ban hunting, trapping, hunting with dogs, these are the things that allowed us to live up until maybe the last hundred years. Yeah, better for you, too. And it's not, uh, well, you know. Yeah, not only that. I mean, factory farming is one of the worst things you could do yeah. for the environment, to fucking animals and yourself. Yeah. But you can't feed, apparently, that many people without it. Yeah. You need a little torture, I guess. Yeah, that's messed up. I try not to participate. I mean, you know, like, I could, if I, if I really, like, worked hard enough on, like, what I have, like. Dude, I was just saying to my uncle that it's fucked up that you were the only person that was actually taking care of your animals. Yeah. The right way. Yeah. And the fucking, one of his neighbors called animal control. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and they came and busted his balls. They made him yeah. get rid of his quail. I had to get my quail. I had to get rid of my quail and then my rooster. And rooster. My rooster I found on the side of the road. And that's but he was taking such good care of the rabbits. They let him keep rabbits even though he's not zoned not for supposed it. supposed to, yeah. I build them a cage. My, my, quiet. My, my male died. I need, a, I need a male. Hey, you know what one of the guys at work told me about rabbits? Domestic rabbits don't know they can't eat mushrooms. Don't know they really can't. I think I had a couple of rabbits die from it. I was talking dude. to them about it. I was like, oh, that's why they die. And rabbits do. Just randomly. They eat everything, dude. Like I, I, Three-year-old I, rabbit, yeah. I, I, it was like wintertime, and I usually have these plates for them with the water. And it was like this rubber one. I fucking put it out there. Just to have, just just so they could drink, it's like the, like a warm water and stuff like that. It'll so I, the ice too. Yeah, cold. I go out there. I go out there the next morning. It's gone. The the male ate it. Yeah. And so I was it, like, oh, and I was scared. I'm like, oh no, he's gonna. No, he was fine. He passed yeah, it. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Rabbits actually are one of the few animals evolved for a low uh, moisture area, like yeah. Sardinian hares and shit. That's why they have such high protein and nothing else. They have no fat. Yeah. If you eat too many rabbits and only rabbits, you can get protein poisoning. Actually, damn. Yeah, <laughs> that's one. That's one animal you have to cook too. Like a lot of people eat, will eat raw. Oh no, you can't eat raw no, rabbit. Uh, yeah, you can eat raw ungulates. You can eat like raw deer, raw cow. Yeah, there's like a, there's like something found in the rabbits if you don't cook it good enough. Turamia. Turamia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sounds right. Some guy was fucking cutting his lawn, hit a rabbit that died, aerosolized the tularemia. And got two oh, and died. Wow, yeah, dude. I always tell everybody I know that cuts grass. Oh, that's crazy. That's fucked up. Yeah, I wouldn't think that. Damn, man. Just cut a rabbit up and die the next day. I don't know if it was the next day. Nah. But I know it's a true story. Fucking Ranella. <laughs> on, on his show, they all went and hunted a bear. I feel like they were in Alaska. What, I don't the, remember. Oh, no, no, they, with the group? Well, there was a few times. I mean, they got fucking charged, them, but they didn't get footage of that either. A grizzly yeah. like, ran through their camp, and Yanni hit it with a ski pole. Yeah, <laughs> and one of them rode, rode down said, the hill. You know, you think bears come? No, I'll get my gun. I'll get the bear spray. Mm. I'll be fine. No, you have no fucking time. They, they all no said they time. couldn't react. Yanni fucking hit it with a ski pole, though. <laughs> and then <laughs> it, it hit Dirt Myth. He rolled over onto its back and rode it down the hill. Yeah, no, yeah. You, you see his feet up in the air going down the hill and stuff, dude. <laughs> Oh, imagine that. I would love just to bend there just to experience that. That like, was have Prince of Wales Lo Island, I believe, which is like one of the rainiest places in Alaska. I mean, I would love to. Go but there. I was talking about when he got fucking. What's the name of it now? It's going to slip my mind. Uh, ah, shit. It's a, a bunch of worms that bury into your muscles. They worry about it yeah, with trichinosis. Yeah, trichinosis. They got it from a beer, right? They, it was well, like they a, were trying to fucking cook it over a campfire. It was raining out. Yeah. And they're like, that's probably good. They all have it, right? Well, like a month later, they started calling each other. <laughs> One guy's like, oh, I got high temperatures. Another guy's like, ah, I got body aches. That's not what I got, so. Yeah. I don't know what he's dealing with. But the fucking, eventually, Ranella had to go tell the fucking doctor at the hospital that it was tularemia. And then he had to have the Alaska state biologist call the doctor and tell him what tularemia was. Because <laughs> he didn't know. Damn, Not dude. tularemia. Yeah, you just, you just said it. No. I'm not good with holding names like that, man. Yeah. Uh, my mind shuts down. It's like, ah, you don't need that right now. Trichinosis. Actually, you know, trichinosis, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, and the fucking, after they give you the medication. Now my nose is clogged. Ah, oh, dude. After they give you the medication. The worms are still 
not alive. They're not active. They're dormant. Yeah. In your body. So if anybody eats you after you die, they'll get it. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. Well, it's clogged. 